Today we're going back in time to these uber uber cool boots. These are a classic. Hello and welcome to fit to box channel please like and subscribe and don't forget to jab that notifications bell for all my latest uploads. Today we are going back in time to the Roy Jones Jr. Jordan boxing boots and these have been a favourite of mine from the moment they came out. Absolutely fantastic boxing boots. Iconic style on these boots. I did review a pair of these which were black on black five years ago when I first started the channel and uh, of course uh, a lot has changed since then I never used to show my face on the video obviously I have I do now um, but also when it comes to these boots I thought it'd be great to have a little bit of a revisit of them because I like them so much that was February 2016 when I did that and these boots are still as fresh and still as sharp now as they were back then at the start of 2016. So these now are not actually available to buy. You can pick up pairs if you're lucky when it comes to like eBay, but a lot of these will have been either snapped up by collectors or used by boxers back in the day and probably wore out now. So these are getting rarer and rarer. They are available in some fantastic colorways, which I'll put onto the screen now. And they also have one of the coolest soles, I think, ever on a boxing boot. Um, on there, it sort of shows you uh, the achievements of Roy Jones Jr. So you've got there IBF middleweight champion, IBF super middleweight champion, WBC light heavyweight champion, WBA light heavyweight champion, IBF light heavyweight champion, and the bottom one there, the IBO light heavyweight champion all of those listed at the bottom of the boot there i think that is awesome um with these boots that sole not only being great to look at um is also the achilles heel of these boots in that it is really stiff and it is very heavy as well which i'll come on to so for me these are more of sort of a style icon rather than a functional pair of boxing boots because of that sole and uh, let's just go on to the weight of them so i've weighed these and these come out at 16 and three quarter ounces okay now if you compare that to the nike hyper ko's um they are 10 and a half ounces okay so 16 and three quarters 10 and a half then if we move across to the Nike Hyper KO 2s, these are 16 and a quarter. So these are a heavy boot in comparison to these, um, and they're slightly lighter than these. The difference is though, on these ones, it's a, look at that, it's a really stiff sole, and with these ones, you can sort of flex the, the foot so this sole is better for boxing than this sole. And then I just wanted to bring in as well, just to give a comparison, the Nike Jordan 6s. I love Jordan 6s, as you know. And these weigh 19 and a half. Okay, so obviously these are really, really heavy. To be honest, I don't really play basketball, but if I did, I'd want to wear a lighter boot than these. These are really heavy, and that sole again, that is really stiff. And the same can be said for these. Great looking, too stiff, and also too heavy. So when it comes to comfort, I did find that my little toe, though it did start to rub on there, on the little toe. Um, so again, comfort wise, these boots are not the most comfortable boots. Let me just show you around the boot then. Okay, so at the front there, you've got those eyelets there where the laces on some boots they are chrome at the front there you've got that bit that curls up which i like and then you've got the two-tone you've got the blue there and then the black the black is like a suede then you come to your first jump man your jordan jump man your first one there and as you come around the boot you can see you've got it 
at the back you've got Jordan there and then there you've also got another jump man now with these jump mans when you're using them quite often they do scuff and because they scuff again that can ruin the look of the boot that is why I think these are more of a show item than a conventional use everyday boot as I come around you can see the tongue there and again you've got the jump man on there and just super super stylish how they've been built and then at the bottom another silver jump man that is at the bottom there with all Roy Jones's achievements up to that date of course he did win the heavyweight championship or a version of and that's not on these boots that came later so I am going to do a scorecard I'm not going to include it in the boxing boots ratings list because you can't buy these anymore and I'm not going to put a value for money score on the card either just because um, as I say what you will pay for these now in comparison to what you would have paid five six seven eight years ago is totally different these are going for hundreds of pounds on ebay so let me just start off so style 99 absolutely wonderful style i think the iconic style of these boots is amazing so i've reflected that in that score comfort i've gone 90 as i say they're not the most comfortable they're not the most light of boots so i've gone 90 for comfort Durability 91, again, these boots do get pretty scuffed up when you're actually using them. And the more scuffed up they get, the worse they look in terms of the style. They really do look great when they're sort of brand new and on a shelf somewhere. So then performance, I've got 89 on performance. That's a low score. Again, reflective of how heavy and how stiff that sole is. Um, and then sole, I've got 82 Again, as a boxing boot, this has got to be more functional than it is. But I could have easily, because I like the look of that sole so much, I could have easily gone a lot higher. But I have tried to reflect the, uh, the practicality of these as boxing boots. So that heavy stiff sole, as well as being sort of a big plus as what it looks like, it really is the part of the boot that makes it not great. And unfortunate that is. But I love the style. For me, they're not functional enough for actual boxing. But um, I would say that these are iconic boots. And what I really would love is if, if Nike could bring out an update of these with a more flexible sole. You know, perhaps keep all of that on the sole in terms of what's on there. But more flexible so you could, much in the same way as these, you can, you can move around flex the foot same with these ones okay that's what you're really looking for in a boxing boot and if Nike could do one whereby it looked like that but performed like them then they'd have a hell of a boot on their hands so I just wanted to again just bring those to you as I say it's been five years since I've had them on the channel the original video was about three minutes long so hopefully my videos have improved since then um, but one thing that has stood the test of time is the style of these boots absolutely love them um i hope you enjoyed that please like and subscribe to fit to box channel and i shall speak to you soon